Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most controversial posts I've ever made in my life. It got the the woke bandwagon to come after me with pitchforks and blowtorches. It was horrifying. Um, but a little backstory. So last weekend, I was invited to this creator-only event. Um, my buddy Max Hurton, who is just a badass entrepreneur, and he also had a really cool YouTube channel for many years that uh, he built up to like 100,000 subscribers. The whole premise behind it was learning a new skill every single month. So he learned things like how to salsa dance and like how to solve a Rubik's Cube, how to do a backflip, stuff like that. Max was a really cool dude. Uh, he'd been watching or re consuming some of my content on Twitter and, and YouTube for a while, and he reached out and he's like, hey dude, we're putting on this event, me and my buddy Rian, we're putting on this event where we're bringing 15 of our favorite creators to this house out in California, and we're just gonna hang out and chill and share swap secrets and like talk shop. And it was really freaking cool. It was really awesome to be around some legitimately amazing creators, people who I have looked up to for many, many years, guys like Chris Williamson, who has the Modern Wisdom podcast. He literally just today passed a million subs on YouTube. His podcast probably has way, way more like active listeners than even that. Um, he's just been crushing it for a long time. Uh, Charlie Hooper from Charisma on Command. They have about six, six and a half million subscribers on YouTube, which is just like absolutely crazy. And then the OG of internet marketing, Sam Ovens, who runs School a Community for Creators, where they bring in together like their their communities. And I've actually been thinking about switching from Mighty Networks, which is the platform we currently use for the hyper focused uh, or the Beyond the Apex community. I've been thinking about switching over to School actually, so um, got a lot of good insights from that. But just those are just a few of the people there, and there was like so many that were just amazing. And so that was a really cool opportunity. I wanted to share with you guys some of the notes that I, I took um, coming away from that event. And so I have maybe 10 notes I wanna unpack over the next 10 days. Uh, do a little, like one note per episode. So buckle up and let's dive in. First one is the power of community. I, I, don't, I don't care where you are in the game. It doesn't really matter. I think everybody yearns for community. There's magic in getting together physically with the people who are your peers or further ahead than you, like your idols. And the problem is like most of us want this, we yearn for it, and yet we're all just sitting on the sidelines waiting to be invited to the party. I know I'm personally very, very guilty of this. Um, and the thing that I came to realize from this event is that if you, if you want community, you need to be the one that takes a step forward and invites people. Put on the party yourself. Be the hub, the one that connects people. Be the max, be the rean of the event. And there's something really interesting happens. Everybody that shows up is grateful that you did the work that they had wanted to do, that they had been weren't they had been yearning for, and yet for whatever reason, life gets in the way, business, you know, relationships. It's just it's so hard to make time sometimes to get the buddies together. And for me, I know one of my big hangups about throwing parties has always been, well, what if I throw it and nobody comes? And you know, that's just one of the realities of the, the world that you're gonna have to deal with is that friends and like life happens and things are flaky, but that's no reason to not put yourself out there to step up and be the one that's organizing these events. And truthfully, I, I think that there is an immense amount of value in being the person that puts it together, being the host. Immediately, it immediately elevates you in the eyes of everybody else, but it also makes you this interesting connective tissue where the people that are meeting each other are meeting each other because of you. And that's something that they're gonna remember all throughout their life. If they end up doing business together or creating things together, whatever, like they're gonna remember that the thing that brought them together was you. And, and I think that's a really powerful place to to own in people's memories. I know personally, um, some of my deepest connections, my friends were at, from events like this. And one of the keys I think to putting on an event like this is not just how, like bringing together people that all know each other. I think it's about cultivating kind of an eclectic group where it's like, yeah, you guys are probably aware of each other, maybe have never met. I think there's a lot of opportunity for, um, serendipity in that world and so like at this event this weekend when max and the others they were like hey so let's go around the room and like what's everybody looking to get out of this what problems are you trying to solve i was like 
you know what? I, I just view this as a Petri dish of serendipity. I don't know what to expect. I don't have any expectations. I'm just coming into it knowing that by being in proximity to you amazing people, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna come away with some amazing ideas that I can implement in my own business. I'm gonna leave with inspiration and maybe even a couple of friendships that I can carry forward throughout the years. And so all of those boxes have been checked. I hope that last one of the relationships carrying forward and throughout the years, I hope that one is also one I can look back someday and say, yep, check that box too. But the key is gonna to be to maintain those relationships. And so something that I'm going to make a, a concentrated effort for in the next year is to start being the one to throw the parties, to be the one that brings together creative talent or entrepreneurial talent here in my local hometown of the Twin Cities. So if you're one of those people, if you're from the Twin Cities, if you're in Minneapolis or St. Paul, or somewhere in the surrounding areas, and you're listening to this and you're an entrepreneur or a creative and you think that would be awesome to participate with, leave me a dm on twitter youtube facebook linkedin wherever like find me at anthony vicino or on instagram or threads which literally just launched today at the anthony vicino just shoot me a dm say i'd love to come join you and we'll see if we can get you on that list so that's takeaway number one join me tomorrow as we dive into takeaway number dos so guys i appreciate you as always for being here until tomorrow stay hyper focused my friend